So this is how I start my day every morning and I so look forward to it. It's amazing this coffee machine. Here's the um, the drawer where you put in your coffee beans, fresh coffee beans. There's um, an option back here for uh, putting in um, powdered coffees, you know, already ground. And this is your uh, water door right here. So we'll have to refill it. Um, you can see the water level on the outside of the machine, which is convenient. And we have the little um, the little um, cup here. It didn't come with the machine, but uh, it does come in handy when you're using um, this unit to make your coffee in. And in here is the pull-out drawer that holds the, the grounds, the coffee grounds, after they've been used. It just slides in and out. If we look up here, this machine is adjustable. So this is the Jura Impressa F50 Classic and the price range was about $2,000 for this unit. Um, the company does have several different models. I think on the low end it's about a thousand to I think all the way up to $15,000. They can get quite pricey and some of them you even need like a pilot's license to operate them. They're so um, you know complicated but anyway uh, we paid about two thousand dollars for this unit um, and I think maybe a lot of people will, would think that two thousand dollars on a coffee machine was a little pricey but if you think about all the people that go to say Starbucks every morning and they're spending seven dollars five to seven dollars on those specialty coffees I mean within a year you could afford your own uh, fancy coffee machine at home and plus the fact that I don't have to leave the house in the morning to go into the drive through or stand in line somewhere. I can make my own coffee right at the convenience of my own home. So to me, even if the, this machine broke down tomorrow, I would go out and buy another one. It's so worth it to me, but everybody's different. So once you press the power button, the machine has an electronic display and it prompts you for what needs to happen next. Um, normally you would turn the machine on and it would tell you that the machine is heating and once the machine is finished heating it will prompt you to rinse the machine. The rinse cycle is something that this machine will do before you make your coffee and after when you're turning the machine off. It's just a self-cleaning, um, awesome little thing. You don't have to worry about cleaning the machine after you use it. Um, of course, there is some maintenance, maintenance to it, but it's not on a daily basis, so it's very convenient. Once um, the machine has asked you to rinse, uh, right now it's saying it's ready because I've previously just um, rinsed it not too long ago so it will rinse that's why it's convenient to have the little uh, cup there so it rinses there's not a lot of liquid in there when it rinses i love having this little um, uh, cup or whatever you want to call it um, this is the same thing the baristas use at Starbucks to make all those fancy drinks. The coffee machine is now saying it's ready. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have water and right now we're full to the max with the water so we're good there. And so on the right side of the unit is where you're going to put your coffee beans and um, you can buy whatever flavored coffee beans that you like. There's so many options out there. Uh, light roast, dark roast, medium roast. 
Uh, we try all different kinds, so there isn't anything um, special that I can recommend. Uh, and you can buy um, espresso coffee, so because this basically is an espresso, espresso machine that makes coffee. So the beans um, are full, so we're good to go there. So the coffee machine is ready. Our next step is to go ahead and make some coffee. On this screen display, there's, um, there's a one cup and the two cup. The machine has also two spouts on the bottom. So you can make um, one cup or you can make two cups or you could have both spouts pouring into the one cup. It just makes it a lot um, quicker. So, um, what you can do is you can set it to a single cup or you can set it to a double cup. So if you if you were making two cups of coffee, you would just put uh, one on either side. So then it would make it would make two cups of coffee at the same time. Uh, also, there's an adjustment on the coffee machine that allows you to make um, those little espresso cups. So all you need to do is um, uh, you can push it down and adjust it to make the smaller cups when you're making espresso. And then you can fit um, a normal size cup. The really large co coffee cups, they don't really fit in there. Um, but then you can make your coffee inside one of these um, little containers and then you can pour it into another cup. So normally what I would do is put my coffee cup in there. Once I press the single cup button, I will press it a few times because it'll it'll basically will tell you do you want your coffee um, mild, uh, medium, or strong. I usually just go for the medium strength. So we'll press it. Mild, normal. And then on the left button here is where you adjust how much coffee you want. So I normally would do like for a, a cup this size, I would do a 235 mil because um, then you're gonna have a little bit of room for your cream. So there we go. And the great thing about this machine too is the coffee just smells so good. It's uh, freshly ground beans. So when the, co the coffee grinder works, it will grind the beans to make just the one coffee so you're always you're always having a fresh freshly ground cup of coffee in the little drawer here you can put in uh, already ground coffee so if someone at the comes to your house and say they want to have decaffeinated well then you can throw the decaffeinated uh, grounds in here so that way the you know you can make regular coffee and you can make decaffeinated no problem it's uh, telling me now that I need to de decalcify like what are the odds of that that I'm doing a YouTube video and all of a sudden my decalcify button comes on so maybe it's a good time to show you what happens with the cleaning process so there's my cup of coffee and mm, smells so good so the Jura does come with your instruction manual obviously but um, it's not that complicated I usually only have to refer to the instructions when I'm um, doing the cleaning process so with the cleaning process we have two types of cleaning 
there's um, a cleaning of the basically the the water system and where the water flows so that's gonna when that comes on it'll prompt you it'll say clean so that's different than decalcification the cleaning process I would say I, I believe it happens every 200 cups um, the decalcification is a lot uh, longer and it um, you only usually have to do decalcification um, in our home we do it maybe twice a year it's not very often at all so after 200 cups of coffee the machine will prompt you to clean the coffee machine so that's when you're going to be using the uh, cleaning uh, tablets just one tablet that you pop into the um, unit where you make your um, where you put your coffee grinds so as you can see once I opened up that compartment the machine is telling me do you want to add more powder because it doesn't have more powder by powder it means coffee grinds um, and once that happened the machine just rinsed a little bit and that's why underneath here you have your this is where your coffee uh, grinds sit so you have to empty that um, probably every six cups of coffee but here is where the excess um, spillage goes so you don't have to worry about the, um, the spillage of the coffee on a daily basis so this is the, um, the unit where the the water and the coffee goes right through here I'll just empty out the tray I'll empty out the coffee grinds okay so we're going to be doing a decalcification apparently um, there is a, a dif difference between cleaning the machine and decalcifying the machine there's two di separate tablets that you will need to take care of both of those situations so today we're going to be using the descaling tablets and we're all set there The good thing about the decalcification process is the um, coffee machine will tell you exactly what needs to be done next. So if you follow the instructions on the machine while it's happening, there's uh, no need to worry about like um, having to perform this, this operation. It's not a big deal. And um, the decalcification process takes 40 minutes altogether. The first step in decalcification is to shut the machine off. There we go with the um, self rinse again. So the machine is self rinsing right now. The next step in decalcification is to remove the frother. This is your frother right over here. Step in the decalcification process is to press the maintenance key. That's this button here that looks like um, teardrops. Now we have the displayed message of empty tray, so that's what we want to see. So we already emptied the tray, so I'm just going to um, insert it again. The next step in the decalcification process is to dissolve your three tablets in 17 ounces of water. This um, cup holds 16, so I just added a little bit more past the line. There we go. Now apparently this stuff is um, highly poisonous, I believe. Yeah, there's a caution warning back here, so just always be careful. So this um, 
solvent that we're we're waiting for it to dissolve it's kind of like um reminds me of alka-seltzer it's like um bubbling to the top there both of these the cleaning tablets and the solvent you can get them on um, amazon.ca and of course uh, specialty coffee shops also have them I think you can also get them at uh, some department stores like the Bay would have something like this as well. It looks like the um, solvent is completely dissolved now, pretty much. Um, we're going to pour the solvent into the water compartment. The coffee machine is now prompting me to open up the tap. So that's right over here on the right side. As you can see, it's saying decalcification is on. So really this machine just prompts you the whole time, which is great. Uh, you don't always have to read the instructions. I like to have them handy just to refer to. So the whole decalcification process is going to take about 40 minutes. So we're going to pop in and out as it's cleaning, as it's working through the system. The coffee machine is now prompting me to close the tap. So again, the tap is right here. So as you can see, the decalcification process is going through this tube over here. And that's where you're going to make your um, milk and foam for your cappuccino, cappuccinos and such. And obviously, you need to keep that area clean so you don't have bacteria um, build up and, um, you know, get sick because of that. At our house, we don't really use the uh, cappuccino side of this machine uh, very often. Um, honestly, I find that I don't really like the, um, the foam that this machine makes, unfortunately. So it's a little bit on the thin side. I prefer a little bit of a thicker. And because of all the trouble it takes to make... Uh, like the milk it's just is honestly it's not even worth it we have a, a separate unit for making um foamed foamed milk and that's this little unit right here it's from bialetti and it um, foams up the milk really nicely the machine is prompting me to empty the tray The tray is full of um, the solution that we put in the water tank. Now the coffee machine is prompting me to fill with water. So I gave the um, water container a really good wash. You want to make sure you get all the residue out of the system for the, the decalcification tablet. The coffee machine is now prompting me to open the tap again. It's the coffee machine is now prompting me to close the tap. We'll go ahead and close the tap. And it's now prompting me to empty the tray once again. As before, there is some liquid here, but not as much as the last time. We'll insert the tray back in. The coffee machine is now asking me to press the rinse. I'll put my little gear and press rinse. <laughs> Apparently the decalcification process has finished. The machine is now ready to make coffee again. It was strange that I was still able to draw one last cup of coffee in order to make the video before I had to do the decalcification. 
That's one thing about this unit I would like, because it's so smart, it should be able to tell you, you can make uh, 10 more cups of coffee before the decalcification process happens. That's one thing it doesn't do, is warn you ahead of time. Um, when it comes to the cleaning process, which we discussed earlier, the cleaning process is totally separate. The cleaning process, you're still able to go ahead and make yourself a cup of coffee um, but it does prompt you each time that the, the unit needs to be um, cleaned when it comes to decalcification you can't go ahead and make coffee you um, need to do your decalcification process before you can make the coffee again it's um, kind of funny that the, the day that I chose to make a review on the Jura coffee machine, out that my coffee machine decided that it wanted to do a decalcification instead. So that's what we ended up doing. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. Uh, sorry it didn't go the way that I planned it, but um, hopefully this is also something that some people will find uh, helpful when it comes to the Jura coffee machines. Um, and thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next time.